Good morning and welcome to our joyful home and today we are going to be doing a cleaning day in the life vlog because my house is a wreck. <laughs> um, it's very dirty and crazy messy so I'm gonna take the course of three days but today I'm really gonna try and like pick up stuff, put stuff away and get starting on the cleaning um, because it's it's in desperate need of a good cleaning. But. Anyway, so for those of you who haven't seen me in a while and don't follow me on Instagram, you'll probably notice that I have bangs now. <laughs> um, I got them, uh, I don't know, a month ago and I really like them. They're different and I just needed some sort of change and I really like where this is going. So I like my bangs. I got a trim too and so that's what's new about me. Um, so it's been kind of fun, but yeah, you if you don't follow me on social media you wouldn't have known that I did bangs so that's that's what's going on here so anyway but yeah so today we're gonna go ahead and get started on the cleaning um, I've got about three days till the weekend um, really two days before the weekend so I'm hoping to get the house relatively clean before the weekend because the weekend I like to rest more and just have time to do things that I don't always get to do um, and then, so anyway, but that's what we're going to be doing today. So, um, I've worked out. We, everyone's pretty much dressed. I have to get my oldest, get his clothes out and so he can get dressed. But everybody else is about ready for the day. Um, we got a really late start because this is the day after the 4th of July. So, um, we stayed up way too late watching fireworks. Sorry, it's really dark in here. And so, um, so yeah, I just... I could not get up and go as early as I had wanted but anyway so now we have a late start but we're gonna start so let's get cleaning all right so just so you kind of know what I'm dealing with we have a ton of laundry from the week um, and then stuff piles everywhere that's just gonna be regular pickup Yay! and this little guy just turned one about I don't know two weeks ago Hi. He's walking everywhere and doing all the big, big boy things. Anyway, so I've got to clean up after breakfast. I've got bread in the oven cooking, and my kitchen's a mess. Floors are really dirty, like very, very dirty. Um, and then our bathrooms are dirty. This is from an accident we had on the floor, so I'm letting the baking soda soak it up. And so we've just got piles everywhere from the weekend. And so I am just trying to clean up and get this finished. Change the bed sheets, all that kind of stuff. So also I tried it, I'm trying a new flavor of kombucha. It's really good. It's elderberry juniper and I'm really liking it super yummy and I like this brand because it's organic they use organic ingredients and um, there's well yeah that's really it I mean organic ingredients and there's nothing um, nothing weird in it which is always nice may be wondering what I'm doing here. I'm taking eggshells that we've saved over the course of a week, a week or so and I'm putting them in a pot to boil. Um, I do this to kill all the bacteria off the eggs and make my own calcium powder. 
um, calcium eggshells are a great source of calcium and yes you can consume them as long as you process them the way I am um, and so you want to boil them make sure all the bacteria is off and I usually boil them for once they're boiling for a couple minutes and then once they're done I strain all the water out and put them in a cookie sheet on a cookie sheet in the oven at bacon 350 degrees for I don't know one to two hours depending on if the water has been evaporated or not um, and that just kind of helps break uh, get the eggs to a consistency where you can crush them easier and um, so I essentially make them into a powder and also another thing when you're making these you do want to make sure that you are using farm fresh eggs or pasture raised eggs um, these eggs eggshells are from my in-laws um, they live just up the road from us and they feed their chickens well and organic or mostly organic and um, they try to pasture them when they can so just make sure where you're getting the eggs are high quality sources and not from the you know the store where they may have bleach on them or other chemicals that really aren't good for your system so anyway that's what I'm doing here in case you're wondering and why the eggs are boiling on the stove um, but yeah so anyway that's what I was doing here
so I got my kitchen clean and the main area picked up, which feels great. I'm gonna sweep the kitchen floors. I just gave the kids a snack of apples and oranges. Um, and then I'll go in the back rooms and change all the sheets and then put new ones, well, new ones on ours and wash the kids' sheets. Um, I try to do that once a week. And then I'm gonna try and do the folding today and the dusting. If I can get those two things done, I will be doing really good. Um, so hopefully I can get those two things done and whatever else needs to be picked up here and there. Um, and then hopefully tomorrow, I'll get to clean the bathrooms and um, vacuum and stuff like that. But we'll see, I might vacuum back in the back rooms too, but we'll see what we get done. But anyway, so finally got that done and the kids are snacking, so we're, we're on happy terms right now. Everybody's doing really good. Moment. So anyway, I'm gonna go in the back rooms and change sheets and get that all picked up and stuff. So I am having a snack of apple and almond butter. I recently learned that, and I always knew peanut butter wasn't the best for you, but I never really knew why. And I realized that peanut butter, the way it's processed is, a lot of it has mold in it. And it's just the way that they're, they're that peanuts are kept, um, they have a lot of mold. And so, be really toxic for you so unless you make your own peanut butter and you know like where they come from and if the peanuts weren't moldy or not um, it's actually better to just go with almond butter because they don't mold as easy and the way they keep almonds um, rarely go moldy so anyway you're safer with almond butter so I am okay hold on buddy just give mommy a second and so I'm just gonna use almond butter it's so good Them. I used to not like almond butter, um, but my tastes have changed.
All right, everything looks so much better in here. And also over here, Kyla's room looks better. Judah and Jonathan's looks so much better. Everything just looks so much cleaner. As at least, at least it's all, most of it's picked up, which is awesome, so. Now, gotta pick up more. There's still piles all over the place. <laughs> Alright, so now I am just going to finish dusting in here, but before that, I'm gonna put my two littles down for quiet time, or for nap time, and then my oldest for quiet time. And then I'm gonna finish the dusting in the main area, and then hopefully start either one of the bathrooms, cleaning one of the bathrooms, or start folding laundry, depending on how I wanna do it. I also wanna get some of the paperwork that is spread all over our desk sorted through, so we'll see what I got time for, what I wanna do, and then, anyway, so yeah. That's what I'm gonna do next. All right, so all the kids are down for quiet time and nap time, and I'm going to finish dusting. Now, before I finish dusting, I have a bunch of computer paperwork to sort through really quick. Um, so I'm gonna do that, because it needs to be done. And before I dust, I kinda need that picked up so that, you know, it's just easier to dust that way. But I'm gonna go ahead and do that, then I'm gonna dust. After that, hopefully I'm gonna go sit in the sun for a little bit, because I wanna get my skin really acclimated to the sun. A few days ago, I went to help my husband finish some fence work, and I was outside for like, you know, I don't know, two hours, and it's hot out, so you don't wear a whole lot. You wear a tank top, right, and shorts. And so, I had gotten my skin pretty acclimated to the sun, but then for like two weeks, my skin weak, it was weakened because I was inside most of the days. And so I got a nice sunburn. And so I am trying to get my skin more acclimated to the sun so that that doesn't happen again. So if I just do little bits of a, t little bits of a time each day of being in the sun and getting my skin used to it, I won't burn. And so I'm gonna try and do that. And the next time I'm in the sun for a very long time and my skin's not acclimated, I need to wear some natural sunblock. That just would have been much easier, but anyway. So, I'm gonna go ahead and go through some papers. Alright, so this is much better now. This pile, Josiah has to go through, and some of that stuff's just not sure what to do with yet, so I'm just gonna leave it there. There's some things in there I have to sell, some things in there I need to deal with later on, and so they just need to stay out. Um, some of them are just coupons too for like eating out and stuff like that, so I just leave them there. Um, <clears throat> and then everything else is pretty neat and organized. We actually got a new printer that works, so that's nice. Um, but yeah, everything else looks pretty good. Like I said, Josiah's gonna go through that when he gets home. And then I gotta go through all these receipts. Um, I use an app called Fetch Rewards, and I'll actually put up my referral link up here right across the screen here if you want to, uh, if you would like to check out their app, but you can go to fetchrewards.com or go on to the uh, your app store, and you can find their app there but you can get rewards for every single receipt you get. So it's not like other reward program or other apps like it. Every receipt you get points for. So anyway, it's really cool. So I'll put my referral link up here and you can check it out if you'd like. Okay, so I was able to get the, um, the entire rest of the house dusted. So that felt really good. Um, my bang went crazy today. Ugh, I gotta. Whatever. Okay, anyway. Um, so right now I could fold laundry, but what I have decided to do is go and get some sunshine because I need that. So I'm going to go sit out in the sun for a little bit and try to get some good old-fashioned vitamin D in my system. Then I'll come in and start folding laundry. So, and then later tonight when my husband gets home, we are going to, our church has a 
uh, midweek service and we also do um, a service with the teens kind of like youth group um, with them and a couple other teens from the valley and so we're gonna be going that to that tonight so, um, so yeah anyway that's kind of what's gonna be going on later on take a break from folding the clothes and start dinner. I put some leftover, um, I don't know what you call it, like uh, leftover meat from yesterday in the oven to warm up and then I'm going to heat up some organic green beans and some broccoli with some coconut oil and like saute them with some spices and then we'll have homemade sourdough bread um, and call it good for dinner. So we gotta make a quick dinner because we gotta go to church um, relatively quickly right after dinner. So it also makes it easier in the cleanup process because I'm not going to have a whole lot of time to clean up after dinner. So quickly I'm going to make some dinner and then hopefully I'll have some time to fold before we have to go. So. back from church and we got the kids down for a nap for bedtime um, so now we're home just chilling I'm going to try and take a shower rest and just spend time with my husband but anyway so I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog I'm gonna go ahead and end it here um, there's lots of cleaning going on today and all kinds of stuff but I'm glad to be done for the day and just rest and go to bed so trying to get out of bed a little earlier than I have been lately like instead of midnight going to bed a little before then <laughs> but anyway so well I will see you guys in our next vlog in our next vlog and have a great night see you later bye